Okay, we're at Chestnut Hill Cove. We're in my backyard. There's my air conditioner. I don't know if you can see. There's black rat feces all over the ground behind there. There's one of my traps. You see closer here. Rat feces. You can see where they started chewing into my air conditioning unit. And I'm not sure if you can see, there's a huge hole going underneath my deck where tons of rats live and lots of rat feces. Okay, we've got standing water here. Rats love that. It makes perfect living conditions for them. Of course, it's not my fault. These houses were built on a spring and the three or four houses in this row will all have water. I had a perfect solution for that and that is this garden here that I built. Unfortunately, I have not been able to go in my garden for the last three months, so I cannot plant anything. Okay, here's another trap. I don't know if you can see. There's a hole going into my septic drainage. Another hole that was going underneath my deck that I plugged up. I could go down the edge of my fence rat activity here. Okay, this is where they dug a hole into my drainage from my septic. I fix it up with duct tape like a good homeowner. Stuck a shovel in there. This one was a really big hole and the water was gushing out all over from my septic. So I put, of course, this trusty old duct tape on there and some plastic thing to try to stop it. But they just dug right through that. Okay. They like to hide back there in my hostas. I hear them rustling around when I come out here. They're underneath my shed. There's an entryway. I don't know if you can see this. There's a rat hole there. There's a big rat hole. Pretty sure you can see that. That's been there for quite a while. Okay, if we go in my shed. This is wonderful. Rat feces all over on the floor. Rat feces all over. Rat feces. Of course, we're expected to keep our grass short in our neighborhood, so I gotta make my teenage son come in here and get the lawn mower and come back here and mow the lawn. I'm pretty sure I would get a fine if I didn't mow the lawn. So he gets to go back in the rat feces and get the lawn mower and come out here and mow the lawn. Okay, back here. Another trap that I set out. Probably won't even for it. Here's a huge rat hole going underneath my deck. They yeah, love to come out there. This is the Tomcat bait station I put out there. The rats totally ignore it. Don't even think about going into there. So that's useless. Four rat holes. Another rat hole. Yep, rat hole. Huge rat hole. Not sure if you can see that. Another rat hole. Rat hole kind of falling in. Rat hole. Sometimes they fall in, sometimes I just plug them up to see if they're actually gone, but they never do disappear. So the rat hole plugged in. And then back here, we have another invention that the rats totally ignore. This is the zapper baits stations supposed to electrocute them, the electronic rodent zapper. Okay, rats don't come anywhere near this. They totally ignore it, so that's useless. 700 volts of looseness, 7,000 volts of uselessness. I have it covered with this bag, canvas, so that it doesn't get wet and rain. So there you have it. This is my backyard. I haven't been able to use it for months. Apparently, according to the Anne Arundel County Department of Health, uh, my neighbor is allowed to throw food out in her yard, and that includes you know, whole pizzas, chickens, macaroni and cheese, uh, you name it, it's out there. There's trays of food all around the yard, on the deck, behind the fence. Uh, the exterminator, who was hired by her HOA just to investigate, found all that food. But apparently, Hearsay is not good enough for the Anne Arundel County Department of Health. So even if you take photos of the food or you may have multiple neighbors complain about the food, 
that's not good enough evidence. They have to see it. They came out, they saw it, but now they're giving them a chance to clean it up. They come out here week after week, and as you would guess, nobody's ever home. And they don't have the power to enter into the backyard. But I bet if they weren't paying their taxes, they would probably get into that backyard and probably take the whole house. But apparently you can't enter the backyard to check on the food. So, therefore, we get to live with rats. Um, the HOA has no power over it. The Department of Health has no power over it. I'm a single mother. I work hard for my living and my house and to take care of everything. I cannot go into my backyard for months. I have a dog. My dog cannot go into the backyard. And guess what? None of my neighbor's dogs can go, or cats can go into their backyards anymore because I put poison under my deck. Yes, indeed I did. Because you know why? I am overrun with rats and that's the only way to get rid of them. You can capture a few of them, but they are too smart for the traps. And even if you do, one pair of rats can produce as many as 2,000 rats in one year. And they are running rampant back here at night. You can hear them out here squealing. They're giant. And here's something you're really going to love. This is a rat that I caught in a trap. Uh, Anne Arundel County only comes to collect garbage once a week. So if I catch a rat, I have to keep it until garbage collection day. I can't put it in the woods because it's been poisoned, unfortunately. Hold on a second. See that rat? Oh yeah. What do you think is all over it? Yep, it's being eaten by worms. It's really disgusting. It's 91 degrees out here in Pasadena, Maryland. Hold on while I put this back in here. So the thing is riding, but I have nothing else to do with it that I can do with it, so I hung in on this shepherd's book until garbage collection day. It's really fun smell. Kind of sure glad I live here and of course nobody can help me so that's why I'm posting this and now that I'm done messing around with the rats and the rat feces and the worms and the dead rats I'm gonna go in the house and prepare my family some food for dinner geez hope that goes well